All right, guys, check this out on everything. I actually pulled AJ Green and Roy Hillu Jr. New additions to my squad, but unfortunately, I accidentally deleted the video where I pulled both of those. That video was going to go in this video also. It was supposed to be two gameplays this video, but we are going to stick with one so you guys also see my defense. Uh, no real changes there. Here we go, opening up my pro packs, and we get Stanley Jean. Baptiste moving on we get a Donald Stevenson not a bad pull actually what am I saying I'm doing this commentary at 7 34 in the morning guys cut me a bit of slack as we get a Trevin Wade and a John Carlson 79 overall tight end here we go my final pack and here we go this was very underwhelming so I will not be using... Oh, hold on. We got Reggie Wayne also. I almost forgot about him. But since my old game got corrupted, deleted, whatever, we're going to go ahead and run with this game. So I go to the juke right there, returning the kick. And you guys already know, man. Madden 16 right around the corner. First and 10 going deep. Now, the reason I say Madden 16 is right around the corner is because I uploaded a ratings video yesterday. If you guys missed the ratings video, you might want to check it out. It was pretty dope, man. Had a ton of ratings. And, I mean, I'm pumped. I can't wait. The football season. Oh, my gosh. I'm so tired. But tomorrow, we get football. It feels like a dream, man. I think the Steelers and the Giants are playing. It should be a great game. And I know it's going to be fourth and third stringers. And all that stuff playing the game too. But I love it, man. I love football in general. If they aired the CFL, I would watch that. It's on third and five. We do find AJ Green moving inside the five yard line. Here we go. First and goal. Running it up the middle to Roy Hillou Jr. And we are on the board, baby. Roy Hillou is actually having a really big first game. Who else had a really big, well, a first YouTube game? He actually did good the real first game, too. A.J. Green went bananas. I mean, Gwen Stefani style. It was stupid how good my man A.J. Green was. His tech out. Check out Tashawn Gibson looking like Jarris Bird on that play if he ever gets healthy again. As a Saints fan, man, I've been so frustrated with Jarris. It has been ridiculous. It feels like he's just cashing checks at this point. And you know who that nation, I'm not trying to fire any shots. It just feels that way. I mean, even at training camp, he's wearing a hoodie and it's just weird. It's on third and eight, dropping back, going up top. My opponent comes away with the interception. A.J. Green let the cornerback get inside position right there. Absolutely cannot do that. And when I say A.J. Green, I am referring to myself. So if I ever refer to a player, guys, if for future reference, just know that I mean me is Gibson comes away with another interception. He's having a really big game. AJ Green, yet another completion. Third and 10, looking for a first down. AJ Green with the Dora supersized backpack on, keeping those chains moving. So I decide to hit my man AJ up with the end zone target and he just gives me a dismal effort as 4th and 3, a sack. Giving us the ball in great field position. 14 seconds left, dropping back. Beautiful pass from Big Ben also. Guys, I, I'm sorry I didn't tell you guys that Big Ben was starting this game. We're going to go ahead, go over the top with Big Ben, putting us back on the board. I think that gives us 14. 14 the old, uh, game right here. He scrambles with Vic. No time remaining. We scoop it up. We're doing the, the scoop and run drill. <laughs> I don't even know if that's a drill, man. But I did try to pitch it back and take it back to the house. So here we go. Starting the second half. Fourth and 12 again. Some people, him and his Vic, they're just having a terrible game. I decide to hit A.J. Green up with another end zone target. And fantasy football lovers everywhere are going bananas over that A.J. touchdown. <laughs> PPR lead. AJ's having a stupid game right now. <laughs> right here, I almost wanted to quit. 
Because he ran a fake punt and every shenanigans just going on everywhere. <laughs> on that fake punt, Kenny Vaccaro had a layup, not even a left-handed layup. I think it was Kenny V that dropped it. And he, and he just dropped it. And, man, I was reading some news about the Saints scrimmage. Oh, holds on, man. Snag on him one time. I read some news about the Saints scrimmage. And I heard we were having problems with, with substituting defensive players. I can't take another year of a trash defense, man. I mean, I guess if I have to, I have no choice, but... It was so frustrating. It's it's looking bad. I heard our defense played really bad. Your team was ranked in the bottom five. I don't even want to say bottom half. If you're not bottom five, you don't know our pain, man. Second and 20, he's going deep. And we end up coming away with the game clinching interception. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. It is right there. We finally are able to go down. So final play. He's going deep. And it's pretty much a Hail Mary. You guys know not going to allow that nonsense. Get it. One tap. So actually next video, I might just next pack and play I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run through all my packs and we're just going to make a team out of whatever we pull from all of those packs it should be pretty dope man now like I was saying I hope you guys enjoy the video much more Madden 15 whoa subscribe for Madden 16 man we're almost there I'm D Coop you should leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed it I'm out 7.43 man 7.43 a.m. I ain't got sleep yet like I said I'm out Yo, what's going on guys, it's Decoop back again, bringing you guys some more Madden 16 news. This time, we have the Mutt news. We've all been wanting some Madden 16 Mutt ratings. Let's get into it, man. I want you guys to smash that like button. Let's get this video to 2K likes. You guys see, we got what looks like a flashback Michael Vick on the screen. The card looks in 